All right, guys. So if you've ever seen my first powder coat oven video or uh, any of my videos, you've probably seen this, my big uh, home-built powder coat oven. So the reason I wanted to do a part two to this video was ever since part one, I've kind of done some pretty essential upgrades to it that really made it a lot better. And um, you can see I got it moved into the new shop here and it was quite the job to get this thing out of the old shop, which the ceiling was only about an inch above. <laughs> it's pretty sweet, man. <laughs> Things hanging. <laughs> So to actually get it out, we had to put a floor jack and jack the trusses up enough to shove this thing kind of up into the ceiling and get it to rotate and uh, pull it out. So now in case you haven't seen this thing before, I'll do a quick run through just on how it was built. Basically, I just framed together um, a four by eight box out of 20 gauge steel studs. And then in between the studs, I laid just your normal pink fiberglass insulation minus the paper and then um, sheeted it on the outside and inside with 18 gauge sheet metal, screwed it all together with just self-tapping screws. So other than that, um, I just got a big hinge for the door and the actual door panel, I built a little bit smaller so it could fit inside the oven. And the outside sheet is 16 gauge, a little thicker just to give kind of the door some structure. Now, one upgrade that I did was I finally built a proper burner for the inside. So I just used half inch steel black pipe that you can buy at Home Depot. And it's nice, it comes in assortment of different lengths and uh, you can get an assortment of different fittings from little straight fittings to elbows to T fittings. And uh, I just kind of built a structure around the outside and uh, the gas flows in, flows around both sides and comes out of the little holes. Now on the outside of the oven, I built kind of a blacksmith Ford style Venturi, which is just, I looked into some things and I, what I think I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna build an air Venturi. So I got an assortment of fittings here and basically after I run all this through, this nozzle will sit on the inside of this fitting into the middle about like there and that force of that gas shooting through this pipe will cause a venturi effect which draws air into these two sides and this should be more than enough air so the rest of these are just um, adapter bushings and everything I need to be able to make all this work. So I'm probably gonna have to weld to this. It's the only way I could get the fittings to work. Now this is a half inch to eighth inch um, bushing adapter. And after that, I can add this to this coupler. Then I have another half inch bushing and this adapts to three eighths. So there is my injector setup, and that can go into there, and this will go into, and there is my Venturi.
All right. So the air is forced in on both sides with the gas as it goes through, which mixes the fuel to the air and uh, gives us a nice fuel air mixture. So then it comes through the wall and it splits. And I just have a normal little ball valve right here, which I have it kind of choked off. So less gas comes to this shorter pipe and more of it is forced all the way around to the other side. And uh, I've always expected this thing to melt, but I've been running it a bunch of years and it's still working just fine. So in between each of the fittings, I got just a high temperature Teflon. It says it was rated to like 1200 degrees or something. So each of the joints are wrapped with that. And uh, that works really good. So then the other upgrade I made is when I first built the oven, um, I built it up on wheels so it was movable. And it had a four inch floor in the bottom of it because of that. So since the old shop, I had to drop it down to fit. Um, I no longer needed the floor since the powder coat oven is sitting you know, on the ground. So um, I unscrewed the top sheet, took out all the studs and the insulation, and essentially just pull out all the framing of the floor, but leave this lower sheet metal just to give the whole box some structure still. And uh, that way I can take my oven rack here, throw some metal wheels on the bottom, and I can go from powder coating on the rack, directly put the whole rack and part into the oven and no longer have to lift the part off of the rack and put it in the oven when it's, you know, covered in powder coat, which is... It's just a pain in the ass to deal with, so. I built this. Just out of some scrap steel that I found out in the field, um, I built together a little powder coat rack. So it's got four steel wheels on the bottom and it works perfect for sliding in and out. Mm -hmm. 